What's going on, guys? It's your boy John from the Game Day here. Welcoming you back to another episode of The Saga Lock. This is episode 119119, baby. Um, I am shocked that we are here. I'm excited that we are here. And I hope you guys are excited that we are here. Because I get to go over a extremely leveled up team. And yeah, it's crazy. So we have to enter the Elite Four at level 7D. Or 69, depending. I don't really care. It's like 69, 70, whatever. Um, and I'm super excited about it because, oh my gosh, like, we're almost done. Like, we're gonna go back to black and white, hopefully. And it's gonna be, like, hopefully phenomenal. Anyway, we got our girl, Bama, with no guard. With low kick, rock climb, magma storm, and waterfall. Babe wanted to learn waterfall, and I was like, go for it, babe. Go for it. You got it. You're fast. You have attack. Like, it'll help you out significantly. Then we have Lucario with the mind plate. Jolly Nature, Volt Absorb with Shadow Claw Strength, Psychic Type Judgment, and Extreme Speed. Then we got Dekon with the Sassy Nature with Clear Body as an ability. Low Kick Bulk Up, Poison Fang Toxic. We have Ernesto, the Lax Natured, Beautiful uh, Yawn Mega with Tail Glow, Air Slash, Bug Buzz, U Turn. Then we have Brittany with the Mild Nature. My Vodic with own tempo as an ability. Heat Wave, Aqua Jet, Fly, and Surf. Then we have, last but not least, Tito! The amazing Ludicolo Party Nature with the effect Sport Ability with Seed Bomb, Earthquake, Surf, and Air Slash. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. We're going to jump right into it. I am hyped. So, like I said, for today's episode, we can talk about something. Um, and today's topic is, uh, this awesome, uh, no, no, um, this awesome topic of trust. Now, trust is something that is earned, obviously. That's one of the main things with trust, is trust is earned, and it is given and taken. So, I had an experience today where I, oh, well, sorry, Levy, you're, you're, you're getting bobbed, um, where somebody in my, like, you know, Circle had gotten hit with, um, you know, one of the dumb Discord things that are going around. So, of course, I was dumb myself. I'm not even going to say that I wasn't dumb myself by clicking on it and, like, actually believing it was a thing. But what had happened was that, you know, it, nothing was cleared and there was no indicator of it being, like, anything too bad. Um, and then when I realized it wasn't good, I fixed it and was on the ball immediately, which is kind of a, a definition of, you know, being trustworthy and being able to, like, know of things. Because, like, of course, not everybody's going to know the whole nine yards of everything, like, of course, but there is some common sense things that can and ultimately should be done in order to protect yourself and others. Oh my gosh, Palkia's sad. And... It's, again, not like, it's hard because you have this circle and, and, and of trust and you, like people will do whatever they can to attack that. And that's where I'm getting, right? Because I am not mad at this person whatsoever uh, because it was my own fault for clicking on the thing in the first place. So it is, I 100% fully accept the responsibility of being the dumb. Okay, back at it. Back with the topic of conversation being trust. Um, it is super important to have trust. It is super important to be trustworthy, which is why I make it a point in a lot of cases to do the right thing or to do the thing that creates the least amount of havoc for everybody else because I care about everybody else and what everybody else is doing and I don't want anybody to be, you know, like hurt or done anything due to something stupid that like I did um, or that anybody else did so that's why that matters because oh classic John I love you all and you all are amazing I know but it's not that it's untrue that's the thing <laughs> I love you all and I think you all are amazing so because I love you all and think you all are amazing I want to make sure you guys are all okay and doing fine which a lot of people would say that's putting unnecessary stress and or pressure upon yourself. And is that not untrue? It's not untrue. It's fair and completely understandable thought processes. But I couldn't imagine just being like, yep, nope, it's fine. I, I will do whatever 
in order to avoid responsibility and do responsibilities, and it's like, no, no. Like, I couldn't imagine, like, what happened uh, today? I couldn't imagine not going and taking action and being swift about the activeness of it. Like, and just not, not only for the sake of myself, but for the sake of others. Like, because technically, what, what people do under that circumstance they fix their own issue and then they don't deal with the other side of the issue or the other side of that coin which is how did i affect others boom that statement right there how did what i did affect others well so the, what a lot of people do is well it affected me because i don't have my account anymore and i have to fix my account and deal stuff with my account so it's my 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 and then when they get their my, 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 my is checked off, then, okay, whatever, it's fine. Like, nothing, nothing happened. I'm gonna pretend like nothing happened. It's fine, it's chill. No, 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 no. And that thought process, in my humble opinion, is a horrific thought process to have. Now, mind you, is that thought process not the original thought process that's gonna get you a lot of things and going to help you a lot and give yourself the self-confidence and the self-esteem and all this stuff? That is important as well like of course we need a a tapered balance of the we and my mentalities um which i would say i actually have the opposite problem of just focusing on the we mentality more than the i mentality uh because the i mentality does have benefits it helps you it makes sure that you're okay and prioritizing yourself above everybody else which is not bad as long as it's mixed with that we mentality of we have to get through this we're gonna be okay and what can we do to help each other in circumstance a b c d so like i'm not like i said i'm not saying that any one is worse than the other i'm just saying based off of my experience i like the we mentality and i've used the we mentality way more than the i mentality so moving forward with where i'm going with this is yeah i had that experience happen to me as well um so i had the you have to focus on the both sides of the coin so the i mentality goes okay i gotta fix it i gotta do whatever i can to stop the problem but why am i stopping the problem i'm stopping the problem because i want to have my account back and i need my stuff back in order to be okay in order for everything to function smoothly then you go to the we mentality which ends up being okay how did i affect others so we can all as a whole be safer and better so then we go do i have my master ball still i do we're catching it for the sake of toronto <laughs> for the sake of toronto um but then the we mentality come, kicks in and this is where i spend most of my time is how did that affect others and what can i do to mitigate and minimize the effects uh, that it had on others. Well, um, first off, figuring out and maneuvering how this hack works, what this does, so that I can prevent others from falling into the trap. And then, on top of that, you deal with the, the here and now, which is, okay, well, I should probably warn slash delete everything um, of the, you know, the hack, because... And that's not good to have slash be hacked so that yeah so that's where then that kicks in that other side of the coin of okay this needs to be fixed this is how it gets fixed moving on and then when you do the fix letting other people know of what it does and how it affects you and what it looks like so that you can help prevent others from going through the same exact issue and i honestly what my brain goes and does is yes i did it i did what i was supposed to do under that circumstance and what i feel was justified and what was right and a lot of people would agree with that now what does my brain also do that is the problem here's where that that great if it if you left it off if that was the storyline great you focused on yourself got yourself handled and fixed others so that you could help with both sides of the coin perfect fun amazing but as you can see, I'm moving on to a not fun, perfect, amazing situation because the brain will then tell you that you suck, that you're bad, and that you don't deserve anything, and that you're not good enough. And I've talked about this probably a lot on the channel, but 
it's the the cycle of the cycle of brain death I guess is what I'll call it because yes you are supposed to take responsibility for what you did and yes that is what you do that's how you go about things is by taking responsibility that's how you improve as a person is by admitting your fault and then fixing it as well but when you cyclone the thought the same thought multiple times for no reason other than to completely tell yourself that you weren't good enough and that you fell for it and ha 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 you stupid idiot mentality and you wrecked everybody's day even though you literally fixed it and did everything the way that it was supposed to and did everything right other than you know being stupid and clicking the link um there, there's nothing wrong you you didn't do anything inherently or not inherently but anything wrong per se but your brain says well you you created a disturbance so you didn't benefit the we and it's just like but it was 25 minutes brain it's it's fine we, we we got it handled everything was okay but your brain doesn't accept that because your brain just says oh you're wrong haha -ha. it's the stupid perfectionism and the mentality of being perfect and it, it is something that i've like had to figure out and mess with over the years and try and not cope with but i guess cope with would work and it is not easy by any stretch of the imagination because you're just like you didn't you weren't 100 percent perfect ha 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 you're dumb and it's like but, but, but no that's this why <laughs> So yeah, it's definitely something that I personally have to work on is not making sure, making it so that I feel like I need to be perfect and that everything needs to be all fine and dandy and we love you and Skittles and rainbows and unicorns and because life is not rainbows, Skittles, unicorns. I don't know why Skittles is in here, but you know, this episode's sponsored by Skittles apparently. Um, apparently I just bought some Skittles. Um... <laughs> That actually does sound good, though. I'm not even gonna lie. Like the sour, the sour Skittles. I, I don't know. D don't ask because I don't know. I don't know myself why the sour Skittles sound so amazing right now. <laughs> like, of all the Skittles to sound great, the sour ones. Like really? Like what the heck? <laughs> uh, just something sour. Like that. I, why i mean i have this you know this this will work for later tonight when i get to actually record the finale of diamond slash pearl and i'm actually i'm very excited to record the finale of diamond and pearl because well let's just say this has been this has been a sector of saga lock that has been intriguing in many ways but also been like grr and others so trying to be both and fix the grr but also be happy about it oh, i don't have rock smash no i forgot this game requires like literally everything well tito i don't want to destroy babe's career wait well wait 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 we do have a fighting type Fighting deals with dark, but I have bug for that. Nope, five it. Babe is gonna be the HM Pokemon, and I feel bad because Babe, de Babe for being as amazing as she is, does definitely does not deserve to be the HM Pokemon. Oh, that's just a loop de loop. Wait a second. Oh, if I taught Babe a move just for a loop de loop. Oh wait. No, it is required. Okay, I was gonna say, if I taught Babe and move just for a loop de loop, I'm gonna be mad at myself, mad at myself, mad at myself. But no, because you have to use Rock Smash down here, anyways. Okay. You know, I'm not mad at myself, because Babe actually did need the move. Good. <laughs> I'm kind of glad Babe needed it. I'm sorry, Babe, but you know, you, you needed it, and I'm happy you needed it. Okay. I just oofed. I just oofed. Because 
And this, I, I was like, the trainer's not required. Yeah, it is. Babe is level 68 and finding Glalie, bye. I don't want you, Glalie. Bronzong, another Pokemon I have to say goodbye to with a freaking fire move. Okay. I need to reset the room. I cannot believe that I just did that, though. Like, the fact that I just did that was just, wow, John. That's a wow, John moment. You play, you did this how many times now? Also, if I get a shiny Oogle Blip, <laughs> I swear, if I get a shiny Oogle Blip, I'm gonna laugh. But yeah, no, you do have to fight the trainer because you have to go into the line of sight right there. But yeah, so anyways, what, common question of the day, what has been your least trustworthy situation? Because honestly, part of the reason that it, like, it hit me hard was because it recalled some childhood traumas. Um, which I know is weird to say, but as an emotional person, as somebody who, like, actually, like, is super into that emotional realm of everything, what it re reminded me of is when my awesome, amazing, psychotic ex, uh, started following a bunch of my friends because she had, um, or because I had broke up, it's just, she was doing Instagram, blah, 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 blah. Um, God, this is so weird to bring up in a saga log episode. But, um, so yeah, so that had happened. And she followed a bunch of my friends because I was privated. And I think what I did was like, the way to get around a private account situation was that um, they followed my friends or people that I had on social media. Social media is dumb sometimes. And they would create multiple accounts so that way they could um you know just find a way to try and follow me on multiple different accounts so like i literally had to be shade about every single account that i would run into and of course that's as somebody who is a very trusting person and somebody who wants to make sure that everything everybody and everything is okay it's it, it stuck with me because of course you know i want to make sure everybody's okay i want to have a great time with everybody i want everybody to feel like they are being taken care of and that, that everybody feels good but in that situation that's not what was needed and not what i should have been doing so uh, yeah and so i had to literally dm every single one of my friends hey this account is following you this account is my psychotic ex and you probably shouldn't and some people because it was from high school days were like well then but you did a follower and i'm like but 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 and it's like so there was a constant stream of being able to get in contact with me quote quote uh by trying and attempting to follow me and that was just because not everybody was being precaution taking the precautions and doing the things that they were supposed to um in in trying to not like in trying to like help because they didn't care that it was somebody uh like somebody they were just a number and it's like, but, 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 like, why does that number matter? Like, what, what significance does that number indicate, right? Because, and, you know, Jonas talked about it in, uh, something a while back where it's just a number, right? Like, what matters is being able to have fun and being able to be there. And I, I wholeheartedly agree. Like, I think it was in actually Jonah 100% that he talked about this, but like, you have to be able to feel like, yeah, because he was talking about how he likes that series and has a great time with that series. So yeah, you have to feel like you're having fun and being okay with the present situation. And I 100% am with him on that. Like, if you're not having fun with something, then why are you doing it? Like, what is your motive? Because and it is a thought process that should be taken into account because that motive is important and having a drive to do something is important but what is causing or the re or the, like what is the drive what is causing that drive to happen so like for example i'll bring youtube into it right now like i love youtube youtube is something that i've had and enjoyed for many many years now but why do i do it is why do I, why do have I spent nine years nearly doing YouTube 
and being on YouTube. Well, one, I have fun most of the time with it. And then two, is that it is a venting place for me. It is a place that I can actually feel like I'm talking and it have some form of significance to the universe because I, a lot of the time, feel cooped up in a corner and not have, being able to like do anything or have significance or anything like that. And I know that doesn't, that sounds bad. And it's, it, it does, I, I get that it sounds bad. But it's, it's not for what you guys think. It's, it's not even because of other people. It's literally because of myself. Because I will sit there. I feel like I had an emotional episode last time we were in this victory room. Apparently, the nostalgia of this gets brought out by the episodes of just, like, pure, like, sadness. Like, I don't know what it is or why. I just realized that we had a very similar talk. Um, uh, last Vicky Road, I literally want to play these two videos side by side now just to see the hilarity of it. But yeah, so anyways, uh, yeah, so it was kind of, it was a tough and rough situation because I wanted to make sure of everything, but I also questioned myself like at any opportunity and that is my problem. That is the biggest or one of the biggest issues that I have presently is that I question literally everything um way too much and like I try and make it not look like I'm questioning things but you can tell I'm questioning things and yeah so it is something that I definitely need to fix and something that I need to figure out because it is if, so, if it's something that I can fix or change or do anything about I should right and I am 100% with you like I, I've been working on it for years to change the mentality and I know changing mentality is not a 100% okay automatic you got this time it, it, it just it's not it's not and if you think it is then you're, you're wrong it's it's not but yeah um I just did a dub because I was doing speed ups so I will catch you guys all in a second there we go we're back we are we should be back in action I just needed to make sure that I was on target because yeah that was kind of uh infernape well gotta switch out of that one um infernape so here's the thing right and yeah no I 100% it's like it is hard and things that I'm working on it and it, it is just a thing that just kind of is and will be for a while so yeah um anyways back to back to business hopefully y'all are having an amazing time because i i have been having fun with this series the series even though it's had its bumps and bruises and its turns and twists and all that stuff all in all it has been fun and i've enjoyed it a lot i cannot believe i went three times i had to go back here but yeah so i will go ahead and i think i will go ahead and fight barry um after i get all the four stores and selling and all the fun hang out how are you kind of ordeals i'm gonna actually keep the hyper potions but these a lot of these can just go ah, i'd rather the 4900 okay this heals any status it's a full heal I had that. I had that. Oh my, oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Me. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to go on that selling spree and do all that after I buy some hopefully four stores. Okay. You can reach it. Good. Okay. I was worried that it was going to be like, ha, you can't reach it. You silly goose. And I'd be like, no, you just pranked me, bro. Oh yeah. What up? Okay. I have a Zatu versus Lucario. Uh oh, I was like, ha. You get bopped. No, you didn't get bopped. Um, but speaking of something that should get bopped, low kick should murder. Yeah, low kick does murder. Okay. Doug Trio. Um or Dragonite. That's not a Doug Trio. That's that's Dragonite. Um, but I should still Ooh. Ooh. I mean, it is mere moving. And we are especially defensive tanks, so. Swellow. Another one of these. Like, we've run into, like, a thousand swells at this point. 
all, all the swallows. All of thine swallows. I guess it makes sense because swallow was... Wait, what? Oh, that's right. We already learned this. John. Hello. We have learned that that happens and you can hit through the air. Uh, I gotta remember that because I'm gonna forget that and be like, oh my gosh, things are bad. Everything's happening. Oh, ah. and it's like, John, it's, it's fine. It's okay. Wow, Mega. Mega, you were not a threat. I actually remembered you were Mega! Oh my god, it took me till the very end of the, 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 the thing, but we did it. And then I'm not gonna get pushed into the Elite Four. Uh, but yeah, I love you guys all. Hopefully, you guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!